Spell, reality check for defending champion Ravens. Is greater than. New sports life money tech travel opinion. Weather. Icon. Humidity precip. Lines. Open settings. Settings. Enter city, state or zip b a l u p equals is greater than. Cancel. Set. Close settings. Full forecast. Media big page. User. Sign in with Facebook. Sign in with Google. Sign in fact. You are logged in. Has logged out. Sign in fact. Search. 11. 31. Share this story. Let friends in your social network know what you are reading about. Facebook email Twitter Google plus LinkedIn. Bell, reality check for defending champion Ravens. Post to Facebook. Bell, reality check for defending champion Ravens in usaloday.com http colon slash slash life slash 17 dhx 6 u Incorrect please try again. Try another. Audio capture. Image capture. Help. Left curly bracket number number right curly bracket. Cancel send. Posted. A link has been posted to your Facebook feed. Sent. A link has been sent to your friend's email address. To join the nation's conversation. To find out more about Facebook commenting please read the conversation guidelines and facts. Bell, reality check for defending champion Ravens. Jarrett Bell, USA Today Sports 9.37 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time September 6, 2013. Ravens quarterback Joe Flacco threw two touchdowns and two interceptions in the team's disappointing start to the season, a 49-27 loss to the Broncos. Photo, Chris Humphreys, USA Today Sports. Story Highlights. Defending champs were destroyed by the Broncos in opening night. 49 to 27 there are not enough receiving weapons on the Ravens pass rush went quiet after a solid start. Share 11 connect 31 tweet to comment email more. What a reality check. Or a conspiracy. The worst season opening loss by a defending Super Bowl champion. If only the Baltimore Ravens could have opened at home like most Super Bowl winners and raised their fresh championship banner. Instead. They traveled to Denver, because the Baltimore Orioles and Major League Baseball wouldn't move their Thursday game. And Peyton Manning was waiting, ready to make history. Recap, Manning fires 7 TPs in route. Still, Thursday night's 49-27 loss to the Denver Broncos might have been the slap in the face that the Ravens needed. Fans knew it would be a tough work in progress, given all that was lost from the championship team. And this route illustrated just how much is missing. The Ravens are no longer, last season's, champions. They broke up that team. This is a new cast. A new season. Joe Flacco got his new contract, but he could have used Anquan Bolden, to Rematch, Suggs guarantees teams will meet in playoffs. As suspected, the opening night disaster confirmed there are not enough weapons. Especially, when emergency hires Dallas Clark and Brandon Stockley are not as nimble as they used to be a year of broken bar and Jacoby Jones leaves early, limping. The defense was kimpy, too. Sure, Elvis DeMerville and Chris Canty were strong additions for a front seven built around Terrell Suggs and Elotin Gala. But the rush that disrupted Manny Gurley didn't last very long. The game was broke open in the second half by one easy TD after another that exposed a thin secondary with communication issues. Harbo, I wasn't aware of pivotal Welker drop. Whatever happened to the airtight unit that won Super Bowl 27 with a goal line shutdown of the San Francisco 49ers? Michael Huff is no Ed Reed, that's for sure. And in the first game of the post-Ray Lewis era, the unit gets torched by a man who ties an NFL record with seven touchdowns. This is not a good look. FTW, seven great stats in Manning's night. Then there were the Keystone Cops moments. Underscore Brandon Drought crashed into Jones, who was waiting to field a punt and wound up with a sprained knee. Underscore Coach John Harbo, in a day that he got a contract.